But testing this video camera again. Here's some drawers that I'm working on. Uh, the existing ones, which was over here. This I've got two left. They're made out of plywood, and they was made for inset cabinet. Uh, I mean, uh, inset doors and drawer fronts. They've got a rabbit cut around them, uh, which lets the door grow up, go up there about uh, three eighths of an inch, rest inside the cabinet, and then the other three eighths uh, or thereabouts is on the outside. It's what they call an inset door. It's popular up here in this part of the country in about, I don't know, I guess back in the late 60s, 70s, something like that. Anyway, as a customer and I, I made some new doors for his cabinet carcasses. Uh, his carcass was in actually, actually in good shape. We wanted to update the look, so I made new doors. And uh, these are the drawers, so I'm gonna make new drawer fronts for them. They're gonna be overlay also. But to do that, we've got to get rid of that uh, <clears throat> three-eighths of an inch that protruded before. So now these drawers, when if they was put back into the opening with that cut off, they'd sit flush. Now what I'll do is make the new drawer fronts to match the cabinet doors, attach them to the front of the drawer here. So you'll have an overlay drawer front and was able to use existing drawers. He uh, didn't want to go to the expense of replacing all of them. And then, all fired and in pretty good shape, uh, structural wise. So, first thing I did was take the uh, take the shaper with a flush trim cutter and, and cut the front down to where it was the same size all the way around. Of course, I had to take the sides off. Uh, took slides off and then flush trimmed it to the same size all the way around. And then went to the bandsaw and split this piece of plywood in half. So now we've got three eighths of an inch here, which is even with the with the sides. And we'll attach a three quarter piece to the front when I get those made and stained. It'll go on the front and I'll screw it to it. And that'll make it an overlay front. And uh, you put them back in, they'll look like new ones. We'll see the difference. So anyhow, uh, and this is a test on this new telephone. Uh, got one of these new new Samsung phones and uh, hey, I'll be carrying it in my pocket of course I'm a free hand in here now but I'll have to get something to mount it <clears throat> and maybe I can uh, get back to shooting some more videos I've, I have been so busy as of late uh, have not had any chance to shoot any video I uh, just fell so far behind in the in the things I wanted to uh, to do a video on but uh had so much work come in that had to be got out. <laughs> Just unable to do it all and keep up with it and uh, and shoot the video. Of course, this is a good thing. As all of you know, this is how this is how I live. So anyway, uh, maybe I can uh, can shoot some more videos since I've got a phone. I hope this works out. I don't know. Normally, telephone videos are not that great. So and this one's got this sniffy little program right here where I can be in the video of what I'm shooting so <laughs> anyway got the shopsmith set up here too we got a, got uh, uh, some work going on on a on a table I uh, got some repair the uh, this big dining room table the leaves went on the end of it and then the ends of the table somebody had got up on it and broke the slides uh, this is one of them that's still pretty good but they was it was made out of wood and it got dovetails. It's a kind of a double dovetail thing uh, to make them work. So been working on those. Anyway, got to bore some new holes for some stripped out screws and that's why I got the shopsmith set up here with a big old table and uh, got me a protective cloth on it so when I bring that over and put it on there, uh, it won't skin those things. Uh, I get back here and as you see these, uh, this is one of the, uh, this is one of the new uh, slides that I made to go on that table. These are made out of rock maple, uh, extremely hard, uh, extremely strong, and uh, they're cut with the grain oriented. Oh. It's running in such a way right there that it makes it stronger. Uh, so, and the other ones, what, and they was, uh, I guess, whatever company made those, they, they're quality quality control missed it or something but anyway the uh, 
Somebody had the employees or somebody let one out the door where the grain was running wrong on it, so it kind of weakened it also. And and then over the years, I guess it, the fatigue just got it. But anyway, uh, just wanted to try the phone out, and uh, I know the video is probably shaky and all that stuff, so because I'm holding it, but. Uh, Y'all let me know in the comment section what you think about the phone video, if it's good enough to, to shoot little short videos like this. Uh, I'll still be doing uh, big videos with the other camera when I uh, can work it in. So leave some comments. Let me know. Thanks for watching.